Hi everyone, it's good to be back after a long break from YouTube. We are going back all the way to April and visiting the one of a kind show. It was still a bit cold on this day. Spring weather is really slow to start in Toronto. The show is an annual handmade market with makers all over Canada. It features a mix of jewelry, pottery, home goods, art, clothing, and some snacks. They had a cricket experience booth which seemed interesting. One of the machines could print on ceramic mugs. Next, we headed to Above Ground Art Supplies, my absolute favorite art store in downtown. I just picked up a pad of watercolor paper. I'm pretty good on my current stock of supplies and I've been trying to spend more consciously on new items. The only other thing on my wish list are more Copic markers and ink refills, but that can wait till the end of the year. We are back to drawing for the Retro Hong Kong Apartment series. As usual, I sketched out the illustration roughly in pencil first, and refined the outline with colored pencil. The walls are painted with gouache for a more solid and opaque finish, and most of the details are done with watercolors. There is no particular order in which I color. Maybe I start with areas that interest me the most to get me excited to paint. I try to fill in all the areas of a certain color in order to make color switching more efficient. This is a traditional bakery on the lower shop level of the apartment, selling egg tarts and pineapple buns. Have you tried those before? The floor above is a residential one and is a peek into a bathroom and bedroom. Since the illustration is depicting an old residential apartment in the 60s to 70s, I wanted the furnishings to reflect the era so we have the pull toilet and the metal window frames with a very characteristic pattern. Time for some collaborative drawing. We got this accordion style traveler's notebook. The paper is thick enough for mixed media. There are 13 pages in total, counting the front and back, so we made 13 prompts to follow. I love mementos like this where you can remember the experience of creating something together, an artifact of the artist's hand and representation of their personality. I encourage you to get your family and friends together and doodle some memories.
Okay, time for our last apartment illustration. I actually made 8 panels in total, all to this degree of detail. It is definitely not a project that can be rushed and the amount of time required to be invested on the same subject matter for all 8 paintings did require some patience and rest. This face of the apartment is showing a hardware and stationery store on the ground level, a cozy living room on the second and a kitchen at the top. I've embedded lots of references to iconic everyday goods in Hong Kong culture such as a red, white, blue bag. We have reached May in the vlog and it finally feels like spring. Cherry blossoms, magnolias, and tulips are in bloom. The highlight of this month was enjoying the weather with nature walks and a short visit downtown to see some city views. I designed an acrylic keychain for the first time. I wanted a simple design and drew it in Procreate. The overall process and working with the manufacturer was quite simple and I'll definitely try again in the future. It has an epoxy coated finish and a rose gold heart clasp at the top. It turned out pretty nice. I'll be using these for an event but if I have extras left I'll put them in my online shop. Sometimes you gotta just do things for fun. It's nice to take a break from my usual type of art and dive into crafts. I'm making a bunch of daisy themed items. I found this garden fence from the dollar store and adding some fake flowers and paper daisies to make a display to clip photos to. Mm, why not have a workspace surrounded by smiley faces? I've been turning to cozy games as a way to relax and manage my anxieties. Ni no Kuni is a game art directed and musically arranged by Studio Ghibli. The storyline is a magical quest with a battle mechanic, but I was interested in it mainly for the stunning environment designs. These are some standalone characters for my apartment project. This cast of animals are a source of comfort as they have grown and evolved with me throughout my art journey. They are the most familiar things to draw, but I'm always happy to explore in new directions too. I actually started a new picture book project with a client a few weeks ago and will have humans as the main characters. I wrapped up character development and will shift into the storyboard stage next month. I'm not able to share much of that project yet, but I've been collecting clips for the future. If there are any topics about picture book illustration you're interested in, please let me know. The final steps for this project will be to add text and lay out the production file. I'm looking forward to sharing more about the project in the near future. Any guesses to what might the final product be? Thank you for all your kindness on my videos and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!